Today I just have a short video because someone was asking about the storage system that I have in the back here. Now in the interest of keeping it brief, the fridge came with the car, it's a big ARB fridge, 47 litres, and that's been great. But I put it on this Bison gear slide, imported from Poland. We don't get a lot of options here in the UK, but Bison gear make and import things. In hindsight, I would get the one that tilts down because it is a bit of a mischief. I'm going to try and do this one handed. It's a bit of a mischief trying to get into this stuff from the top. You're quite limited in how much space you've got. Uh, yeah, it's full of beer and water and things. Um, but I just keep this in the car all the time because it's so much space in here. You know, it's got a little catch to stop it from rolling around. I would get the one that pulls and tilts down next time if I was doing that again. Uh, the other thing in the back is the shelf. Again, Bison Gear attic shelf all cut to molly panels uh, just fits onto where the grab handles would be in the back here now this is quite nice because you can put soft items like we always have dog towels and like that's a little jacket for the dog that's great to just stuff up in the top here out of the way or clothes or anything because no matter what you've got going down here you can always get access to your clothes and things like I've usually got a hat and some kitchen towel so I'll just keep that up here in case we've got any spills but also, you can get access to it from the cabin. You can easily grab things through the top there. I'd never get that kitchen roll through, but I can grab a towel or a dog blanket or you know, get my jacket down from there. Uh, and whoever's in the back seat can easily grab stuff for me as well. That was worth every penny. This is quite expensive. I think that was about 200 pounds. Um, but uh, it was quite expensive, but that is worth it. I, I definitely recommend this. The other thing is the, the molly panel on the window here. This I'm not such a big fan of. Uh, excuse me, take my torches down. Fitting it is a tremendous pain in the ass because you have to drill um, your factory plastics to get the mountings on. And then you can no longer use the window releases. Now, it's obviously designed so that you can, but you know it's close but not quite. You can no longer use the window. Then, getting anything latched onto it is a nightmare. So I've got these, you know, tactical molly clip things. But, but getting anything looped round this thing without access to the back is a bit of a nightmare. So I just keep a couple of first aid boxes. You can see just further down. That's where it does neatly fit into a factory slot. But, oh, zoom. That goes in a factory slot. But the other end of it is a, is a bit of a nightmare. And trying to get it fitted to the top where you have to reach your hand up and hold a bolt in place at the top while screwing it on. That's a bloody nightmare that I cannot recommend. But for me, I keep some first aid and a fire extinguisher. I like having a fire extinguisher in all my cars, even my wife's little run around has one. So that's the uh, Bison Gear uh, window panel. Of course I've got the drawers here. These are just homemade drawers on ball bearing slides that I got from Amazon. Uh, not difficult to make, but getting the drawers to be absolutely square is essential because this one, as you see, this one moves in and out quite easily. Oh, and I just bought some boxes to help organise the stuff that's in there. Uh, so stuff doesn't mix around too much. This drawer isn't perfectly square. So this one sticks a bit when you pull it out and it comes back in, it sticks there and you have to push it. That's just because the drawer isn't perfectly square. So, I mean, this is the first set of drawers that I made and this is a bit of a version one. I haven't bothered to carpet it or anything because I've had gear boxes and differentials and stuff in and out here, which makes a real mess. I just added a couple of tether straps so that when the dog is in here, if we've got stuff heaped to one side, I can put in some webbing and hold it up at a side for him. Uh, the other things I've got inside is a pretty basic uh, wiring system. So this is just a control panel, again just an Amazon box that I used the Dremel to cut out. And this was a, a, a marine switchboard which came with a bunch of different stickers and things to put on. But the way I have this wired in, it, it's, it's live to the batteries all the time. So I have a, a kill switch on the top. So I can run it even when the battery is off. So got, what have we got here? Just over 12 volts at the moment. And I can turn on this, uh, I've got some USB plugs that I wired in uh, and obviously, you know, there's another pair of USBs there. Uh, and this power socket, when I turn that on, 
it triggers a transformer which is in this other box so there's a step up transformer that's good for about 300 watts rated and it just sits in this box here I'm not going to pull it out because it's a nightmare but it's just all sealed up in there and then I have some Anderson plugs which then connect it to Let's see if I can, can I show you my Anderson plugs? Hmm. No, I don't think I can see them. You just have to trust me, but I've got some Anderson plugs on a quick disconnect here so that I can charge this uh, battery pack. So this is a 2000 watt battery and it'll do 1000 watts peak power. So that allows me to run the fridge. So if my cigarette lighter's not on, I can hit that button and I can run my fridge through the through the regular power pack and if not I can use it on the cigarette lighter plug that I have down here again everything just controlled by this one master switch and that allows me to have storage power in the car even when the ignition is off without having to run down a 12 volt I didn't want to do a twin battery setup because this is portable and I can pull this out and run compressors and uh, anything that I want to uh, and it's got a nice tow handle on here I've got a few of these, so I might do a, a bit of a rundown review on which ones are the best uh, that we've found so far. Um, but for those of you that were asking about the rear storage, that's everything I've got in there. Any questions, just let me know.